Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review HBO's movie sequel to the original series, Deadwood. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and put out videos daily. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at Movie Guy 365. Okay, I Deadwood, the movie Deadwood. Uh I was a huge, huge fan of the series on HBO, it premiered over 13 years ago, and I was very disheartened. It was back when HBO seemed to like to cancel things right out of the blue. I mean, I don't know if you remember it, but Carnival was also a very promising series that just ended way too soon. Uh, you know, Deadwood had the same effect. It was three seasons, and while I would say the third season wasn't the strongest, it did have plenty of storyline left to tell. So when HBO abruptly canceled it, I know there were talks of reviving it as a, ser a mini-series or as a movie or two in the future, and we were all beginning to give up hope. But then about a year ago, finally, all the players are back in this. David Milch kept his word. He put out a great script and a great film. Now, I normally don't review HBO movies, uh, mostly because of the couple originals they put out are just... You know, I, I don't know, they're just not as cinematic as they could be. And I would argue that Deadwood is probably falls under that. It's not a completely cinematic experience. I don't think you're going to see this at your local Regal or AMC. But for fans of, this, of the series, it's a gift. It is, real, it is really very good movie. I enjoyed it. I feel it tied up a lot of things in a nice, neat way that, you know, of course, were not resolved in the end of the uh, season three back way back when. But... Just to see everybody age, you know, 10 years since the end of that series to now, but you know, it's technically even longer for us. It was, it was done extremely, extremely well. I, I, you know, I became a fan of Timothy Oliphant from this series. I, and of course, Ian McShane, he, he came from this, you know, that I know he's done various things in his career, but this really is what put him on the map. And you know, just things from John Wick and recently the ill-fated Hellboy reboot. You know, and of course we have, you know, Timothy Olfen, who was in Santa Clarita Diet, which I really, really loved. Very sad that they canceled that over at Netflix. But so many great casts that came out of this show. And for those who aren't familiar with it, it's basically a Shakespearean Western. And it's just a very gritty, raw kind of thing. And that's the best explanation I can give it. It's, I, I would say it's very, you know, it's smart. It's not just a clueless, shoot em up, that kind of thing. But, I, it, you know, to, to finally see this story come to a, a satisfying conclusion, I, I, you know, very, very happy with it. It, it, it. it made me very, very glad to see what I was seeing on screen. It honestly looked like they just stopped filming the series a couple months ago. They went on a break and came back. It didn't look like they missed a beat at all. It was, it was just so great. It was so great to see just a, a, most of the things just tied up. And there was even callbacks to characters that were no longer on the show. Uh, I remember Garrett Dillahunt. You know, I'm a fan of his, and you know, from things like Raising Hope, and he's in Fear of the Walking Dead, and he, his character was killed off in the series, and then he somehow pops up in this one in a, in a clever way. And I was like, oh my god, he's back. I mean, I enjoy I enjoy the attention to de detail. It looks like the sets were, have been there for years, that they never tore them down. It just looked like we were right back in the mix of it. Didn't feel like it skipped a beat at all. It had a great, you know, because that happens sometimes when a show goes away or a movie goes away and they come back so many years later and it feels off. It feels different. It doesn't feel like it's a, con you know, continuation of what you saw before. This absolutely does. So if you are a fan of Deadwood, the show, I urge you to go on your HBO app or record it on HBO or something and watch this film. It's really, really excellent. I'm hoping they put out a box set of everything in Blu-ray 4K format. I would absolutely get it. I, I couldn't be more satisfied. It's excellent. I think you would enjoy it if you are a fan of the series. So let me know in the comments if you are a fan of Deadwood and if you had a chance to check out the, uh, the new movie that just released this weekend. Let me know. And in the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.